We met through a cell group Christmas party and I brought a fated bottle of Hendrix gin. Which at the time was my favourite. And then I looked at Brian and I said, you are my favourite person at this party right now. Yeah, and I was very confused as well. <laughs> we still can't recall on who slid into whose DMs first. I'm very sure it was her. <laughs> I really think it was him. Megan's a very genuine and kind-hearted individual. But you have no nice things to say about me. I do. <laughs> As a couple, I think we are extremely extroverted. Yeah, we love spending time with each other, but we also love spending time together with our friends. This love is the best thing. It's fun, exciting, I'm nervous. Can't wait to see Brian. talk about the nature of love that's described in this passage, that God is love and He's given us the gift of love, which is why both of you are standing here today, because you've received the gift of love from the Lord. If you keep going back to Him as the source of the love you have for each other, your love will never fail. Never! The passage says we love because God first loved us. So whenever we express love towards God and towards one another, God's love grows and one day it becomes perfected in us and then we can really shine and be a light to this world that we live in. You're the best thing that has happened to me and today I feel like I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I promise to always be open and communicate with you, even with the toughest conversations and to listen to what you have to say. Brian, I thank God for showing me that love can be found in the most unexpected of places, sometimes even at the bottom of a bottle of gin. I love you for always choosing to be gracious in moments of frustration and for your unwavering loyalty to the ones you love. I promise not to laugh in your face when Chelsea beats Man U. I promise to go to the gym with you at least once a year. <laughs> and most importantly, I promise to love you for the rest of my days. I promise to always keep God at the centre of our marriage and to celebrate moments of joy and excitement together amidst the routine of life. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge you my faith. And thereto I pledge you my faith. First and foremost, we would like to give thanks and praise to God for all His blessings for bringing us here today. Uh, for those of you who we had thanked this morning, sorry, there will be no repeats. You're welcome. Oh, oh. Ruby, where's your balloon? No repeats, but obviously that doesn't apply to our parents and my wife now. First and foremost, a big thank you to my parents um, for the past 29 years and for raising me to become the person that I am. You guys have taught me what, what family truly means and there's so much I'll definitely look to replicate when I start my own family. I have to say that God really blessed me with the best mother and the best father. Even though I'm moving out, don't miss me too much. I'll make sure to find time to watch Sunny Side Up together and have our meals together. I love you. 
to my husband. Thanks for being my rock throughout all the humps and bumps of life and planning this wedding. I love you and here's to a Mercedes P1 tonight. Woo! To all the Red Bull fans, please um, leave your Ang Pao's in the box and you can exit whenever. Just kidding. <laughs> to my wife, thank you for planning everything today. I'm so excited to embark the next stages of my life together with you and thank you for loving me. I love you. Wouldn't miss it for the world I couldn't be happier that Brian has found the love of his life. So Megan, tonight we really want to embrace you, not just as our daughter-in-law, but as our beloved daughter of the Law family. Welcome to our family. Well, you always heard people say, right? Happy wife, happy life. But I can say, if you put God in the center of your marriage, you have nothing to worry. Where was the couple's first kiss? I think in church this morning. High chance, high chance. Waiting for the moment to arrive. We were waiting for the moment to arrive. And I wouldn't miss it for the world. As I look at each stage of my life, my brother was always there to pave a way into new hobbies, life experiences, and even social settings. I just want to say, go. Thank you for being the best big brother that I could ever ask for. <laughs> Megan, thank you for making Brian a better person and brother. I must say, you entering his life may just be the best thing that happened for us as brothers. From our late teenage years, um, when we started talking about boys, um, one of Megan's key life goals was to marry a good man. Brian? Today, Megan finally marries her good man. So please be very, very good to her. Thank you for making my best friend so happy. And because you have won her heart, I guess you can say that you have won our hearts too. 